A Deerfield man is in jail after a Rock County investigation found he was sending inappropriate text messages to a 16-year-old and was trying to meet her in person. 36-year-old Brandon Urbanski was arrested yesterday. He's charged with child enticement and exposing a child to harmful materials. NBC 15's Hannah Flood was in Rock County today. She joins us with details on the investigation and why authorities say there may be more victims. John and Lee, Rock County authorities say Urbanski's arrest was partly made possible by the parents of the 16-year-old victim handing over their daughter's phone to authorities after finding sexually explicit text messages. The text messages were inappropriate uh, for her age and for an adult to be exchanging with a child. Rock County Sheriff's Captain Todd Christensen says investigators posed as the girl and convinced Urbanski to meet up. They set up a meeting at the James Mill Mall. When Urbanski got here, he thought he was meeting the 16-year-old girl, but was instead arrested by police. He's been talking with us, and um, there are other victims out there that we are in the process of attempting to identify. So there may be more charges in that respect also. Captain Christensen says many of these other victims may have not reported the crime to police, but he says they encourage victims and parents to report these crimes when they happen, since there are usually multiple victims. Like this, with it's a, an adult, male, I'm going to call him a predator, um, it needs to be reported, so hopefully it can be stopped, that person can be caught and held accountable. As Urbanski sits in Rock County Jail today, authorities and investigators from the Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force are searching his electronics and his home in Deerfield, trying to identify any other possible victims and possibly bring on more charges. They say this case is still under investigation and encouraging anyone who may know something or may have been a victim to an online predator themselves to call their tip line. In Janesville, Hannah Flood, NBC 15 News.